Um, no, yeah, we don't, we don't have any, not, not in yeah, no. platform. So we've just, again, actually to bridge that thing, like there's been periods in platform where we literally just haven't paid ourselves for like six, nine months. And we've just like, and we've all had to suck it and we've literally all had to suck it up. And that has caused us like immense uh, pressure specifically at home. Shane knows my wife who's an accountant. So you can imagine my pain. So you know that like, it's hard, but we did get through. And like, I'll tell you, agriculture is literally, ag tech is a battle of attrition. Like it is the last, like if you can hang in there and like it takes a while and all this stuff's coming together, but it's slow. So you have to have a long-term outlook, but stuff's coming together and things are actually now starting to make sense and start to scale. So but where uh, do, I mean, exciting. to answer the question, where do you find angels? Like, do you ask, like, where do you find angels? Anyway, that's a question for the audience. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know, we've never been there. But, you know, there are things now. You know, there are things in place. And the problem is sometimes people do not even know that those things are in place. But I think if you research them, you find them. Now, if you Google it, exactly. We're, we're, um, Get out of your garage. There's, a, there's obviously, like, well, there's this group, group that Leo's leading. Like, Jace, Jason, if, like Jason is um, helping to lead Innovation Bay, which is a different group of angels that exists in Sydney and Melbourne. And they're actually doing a specific ag tech event in November, I think, in Sydney and Melbourne. So yeah, we'll definitely try and get along to that. And like Flavia said, it's, it's like quite hidden. We've just recently been able to kind of go and pitch to like some angel groups in Sydney just before lockdown that I've never, they're just not very publicly known, but it's like a little network. And once you get inside the network, they let you in and somebody, um, had the faith in us to let us get in front of this group but yeah remarkably hidden compared to london um yeah i agree yeah um, throw, throw to the audience for a few questions if people have any questions there was it was just like so many more it was just so much more active so like there was just so many more people i'd say it's actually the city i was there in um from 2000 to like 2014 and there was an awful lot of money made in the city of london in those times so there was uh, and like there was the there's almost every industry is significant there so the media industry is really strong the mar like the advertising industry is really strong there and Again, we like good pe people came and found you, like our chairman, Dickie Dale. Like, it just ha like it, these kind of um, really great, um, spontaneous, serendipitous meetings of people that open doors for you, like very willingly, just happened. That doesn't happen as often, I found in South Australia. And this guy, Dickie Dale, like, he, he was the person who led our round he just gave us some money he said trust me i'll get you a million dollars and to start two million dollars to start with and he did and that just led on but i know tons of other people like us that um that also raised money and, and again we were just there when facebook happened like there was a bubble and ad tech and games and a couple of other things just exploded and there yeah people came out of the I actually think here that before this, also startup were quite hidden. So it was really hard for an angel investor to know who is good or who is not. Now, if someone wants to invest, can come in here and talk with one of the guys and say, okay, let me know what are the good companies. Can I have a coffee? Can I have a chat? So I think there is a system that they are putting in place in, in the city. There is a system. There are groups. So it's happening. It was not there five years ago, but it's happening now. Pretty sure if someone wants to invest, there are 20, 10 to 20 companies that are really worth it to look into. They're not a million. They're going to get more and more. So the system is it's happening. I mean, and, and it's quite exciting. But what, 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 what do you think, Brenton? Oh, jeez. Um, you were yeah. falling asleep, I saw you. I'm just, I'm just sitting, here, sitting here thinking, yeah, grants, 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 grants. <laughs> Is there another grant that I can get? I don't know. But yeah, I will say, um, look, I think you're right. There is a, an, a, 
there is a lot of support for it at the moment from the government to connect the, the, the ecosystem here in Adelaide. And, and grants are a significant part of that. <laughs> uh, but no, I, I, I kid you not, that it, it really does help. Even just going in, having the discussion, say, hey, this is what we're doing. This is what we're, we're, what we're trying to achieve. We're looking for some grant funding. There's small ones. Our first grant was $50,000. Um, and, and it was a sort of a one to four match funding. So we had to put $12,500 in. Um, but that got us known to the people in the government, got us known to investors. We could then go start speaking to VCs about, hey, we've got this, you know, this grant. And then we went and got another grant. We've got this accelerating commercialization grant. That's a stamp of approval. Um, and I, I remember Doug and Grant Steinberg telling me this is a stamp of approval. And it was. So, you know, start small. Um, look at every avenue you can. I think Fixie and the Office of the Chief Entrepreneur are doing a great job. I think Lot 14 is a great thing. So I think there's a whole lot more support. I didn't do angels, but there is a lot of support for, for early stage. So. Thank I actually agree with you. And I think it's the same with VCs anyway. You know, you don't uh, you reach a VC with a cold email and say, give me money. No, you have to get to know people, like angels particularly. I mean, we had some angels in the first round. They came, they came through the VCs and everything. And I have to admit, in the first couple, I don't have contact with my little investors anymore. That's a pity, because they were amazing in the first couple of years. I mean, they were the one that were calling me every week and said, do you need anything? Like, do you want me to check this? Do you want me to help you on this? Put me contacts. They are they are really a change maker for the first couple of years. And so that communication on getting to know each other as on a personal level and also understanding what the angel investor can do for you, I think is very important. It's the same with the VC. I think every VC that I had, it started from an advice on a friendship or on a communication. So I think this is missing sometimes so that we are a community. Uh, it's, it's very funny when you go to Silicon Valley, they, they, you, there are these events in which angel investors and VCs and startups are all together. They know each other since 10 years. So investors know you, they're just waiting for you to come up with a decent idea, you know? And they're like just monitoring you and say, okay, let's see if this idea is better. So Adelaide is amazing in terms of collaboration and friendships. That's the soul of this state. We, you can reach anyone if you ask. You can be everywhere when you ask, but my feeling, what I said, is that if you actually have a startup that is going to change the world, they will know. <laughs> like, you're, you're not going to be hidden, you know, if you have a startup that is really making an impact. They will all see you. So isn't the problem before, like, why don't we be startups that are actually massively amazing? And then no one will be hidden. You know, everyone will see you and everyone will want you. So let's work on that. I think, I think the other thing is, um, you know, the way we look at investment, it's, it doesn't happen overnight. It's all about relationship building. Um, so getting out there and, and meeting potential investors, telling them your story, telling them what you're trying to achieve, and then going back and back and back to sort of update them on how things are going. Like we're, we're not actively looking for investment at the moment. We might do in 12 to 18 months. But I've, you know, I'm constantly on phones to new VCs, sending out email updates of what's happening with Fivecast over the last three months. So we're probably doing that to 30 odd investors at, at any, any given time. So it is all about relationship building. And from their side, it's good as well. You know, why do we want to invest in this small Australian startup? Uh, it, there's, there's so many things to choose from. They want to see traction. They want to see progress. They want to get to know you. So it's about that relationship building. And it, you know, it starts with the angels as well. Go out, tell them your story. And you get better and better and better at doing it by practicing. So, yeah. This is 
if there's any investors in the room um, at the SAVC fund, we, Alex, how many deals have we seen since March this year? Yeah, so we can't invest in, in many. Uh, so what happens usually is people come in and they say, okay, this is where we're at, and we'll either point them into the direction of other, if they're at seed stage or other investor uh, grant programs. So we're, at the moment, we're a bit of a lighthouse because there's, there's not too many VC funds in South Australia. But um, you know, if you're a founder or a startup, come to us. The chances are it won't fit our precise metrics of investment, but um, we're here to try and help the ecosystem as well. So um, if we can connect you with corporates in America, in Europe, which is through my network, or Alex and David, obviously, are really strong here um, in Australia. So that's, that's another function that we play um, as part of helping startups get capital. It might be through us today, but in a couple of years' time, that's, that's, that's what we're working towards. So I think we're nearly, nearly done with time. Yeah. Um, so if everyone can thank the panelists. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. A massive, uh, massive thanks to, uh, to all of you. Thank you. Don't forget your grants before leaving. Eh? <laughs>